Hello, beautiful souls. Congratulations. And you should be so proud of yourself to achieve in this. This is part of your ritual now and it's important to build on it and to continue it. So if you want to continue this, you're most welcome to join our VI pre-group where I do 16 live classes a month and lots of pre-recordings of 10 minute classes as well as um, challenges um, along the way and motivation. And today's class, I really want to focus on balance because when we're taking care of ourselves emotionally, physically and spiritually, it's about creating a balance between our needs and the needs of others. And I truly believe when you fill your cup first, you overflow your cup and you've got so much more to give back to your family, to your work, to your loved ones. So let's begin today's class, which is about balance. So congratulations again to you beautiful souls that have completed the challenge. And don't worry if you haven't completed it, you can always make up the classes in the next couple of days. Well done, this is a great achievement, so you should be really proud of yourself. So let's begin the class by surrendering on the mat. And this is the time where we really connect with our breath. And as we connect with our breath, we give ourselves permission to be here. In the present moment, there's no future and there's no past. It's just you on your mat, focusing on your body, your mind, and your spirit. And this is where we connect to the little whispers our bodies are trying to tell us all the time. What we need, what's working for us outside of this mat, what foods, what drinks, what people. And if we start listening to our bodies and learn to build that relationship, we have a better understanding of our external world too. So knees are hip distance apart, hands shoulder width apart. Let's just do a delicious cat and cow just to open up our bodies. So inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. And I've really enjoyed putting these classes together for you. So thank you for allowing me to share this time with you and to go through this 21 days with you. So we're going from side to side, hip to shoulder. Beautiful. And then we're going to come down on our elbows, palms facing down, and just lift your knees up. Then we're just going to rock slightly forward and back with your knees one inch away for five, four, three, two, one. And then coming back up onto our hands and knees, tuck the toes under, and let's come into our downward dog. Just walking out left, right, left, right. Connecting to the body, listening to what it's telling us. Are you tight somewhere? And just honour that space that your body is at today. And every day is different because depending on how much sleep we've had, what we're eating, what we're drinking, the weather, and also the busyness in our life can affect on us in our body. So bending the knees, taking the hips over to one side, and the buttocks over to the other. Beautiful. And then let's just lift up the right leg. Bend the knee, open up the hip. And then circle one way, the knee. And circle the other way. Change sides. Lifting up the leg, bending the knee, circling one way and then circling the other way. Beautiful. Bringing the feet down onto the mat. And we're gonna inhale, come into a high plank. Take your right leg forward. Inhale, lift up your arms, crescent lunge. Tuck the tailbone in. Little pinkies facing each other, activating the tricep muscles. Drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Good, and let's opening up to warrior. Pivot in the back foot, 45 degree angle, sinking down with that front knee. And just take a gaze at the knee. Make sure it's not coming towards your big toe. Just rotate it slightly towards the pinky toe. So you're opening up your hips. And then let's reverse that warrior. Palm facing up, reach forward and come up. Beautiful. Side angle. Elbow on the knee. Bring the hand over your head. 
Rotate your chest towards the ceiling. Good, then we're going to frame the foot and we're going to step the back leg forward slightly. Have the hands one foot away from you. And then we're just going to lift up the leg behind us. Lifting up the leg behind us. Breathing in. Breathing out. And if you want to, you can grab hold of your calf. Abs pulled in, holding it. Three, two, one. And then gently stepping it down. Frame the foot. Kick back. You can either come into a dog or flow it out. Tricep push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Breathing in, breathing out. And then just let's lean forward onto our hands. Step your left foot forward. We're pivoting the back, um, keeping the back foot facing the front, coming into crescent lunge. Again, tucking the tailbone under, pivoting the little pinkies towards each other, dropping the shoulders down, rotating the back foot, 45 degree angle, coming into warrior. Sinking down, just have a look at your knee. Your knee should towards, be towards your little pinky, not the big toe. Reverse the warrior, palm facing up, reach forward, coming up, sliding the hand down the back thigh. Elbow down. Bring the hand up over the ear, rotate your chest towards the ceiling. And then framing the foot, stepping the back leg forward slightly, hands one foot away from your foot, and then lift up the back leg. Lifting up the back leg. And again, you've got the option of grabbing hold of the calf muscle, holding it for three, two, one. Stepping it back down, framing the foot in a dog or flow it out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And then we're walking our hands back to our feet. Grab hold of your elbows, bend your knees slightly, and rotate from side to side. Then let go of those elbows. Let the weight of your head come away from your neck. Pull the belly button in and roll up one vertebra at a time. You're bringing your heels and toes together. You're bringing the hands up. Just interlock your fingers and just have your index finger facing the ceiling, so just like that. Arms in line with your ears, we're gonna inhale, reach up to the ceiling, lean back very slightly, step your right leg forward, and then we're just gonna lift the back leg up into a T-shape. Dropping the left hip down towards the mat, holding it three, two, one, and then gently coming back. Beautiful. Change the thumb grip so the other thumb comes in front, interlocking the fingers, arms in line with those ears, belly button pulled in. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling, lean back very slightly, step the left foot forward, and then lean forward onto the left leg, bring the right leg up. Holding it for three, two, one, and then stepping it back. Beautiful, and gently release. We're gonna do a bow. We're gonna bring the left hand, palm facing away from you, bending the left leg, grabbing hold of it, the foot, with your palm facing up. Inhale, lift up the right. We're going into the bow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. Kick the leg up. Kicking the leg up, holding it for three, two, one and then gently release. Beautiful. Let's do the other side. Pivoting the right hand, palm facing away from you. Pull the belly button in. Lean over onto your left. Pick up the right foot. Inhale, lift up the left hand. Inhale, reach. Exhale, coming down. Kicking, kicking, kicking. Holding it for three. Whoops. Two, and one. Coming up, beautiful. Rotate the shoulders back. Rotate the shoulders forward. 
coming to face me now, heels and toes together. We're gonna to do a tree. So abs are pulled in and you're gonna focus on one point in front of you. You're leaning over onto your left leg and you're picking up the right. Popping the right foot to the inside of the left thigh, pushing in, that's it. Abs pulled in, keep your gaze one foot ahead of you at that one point, lengthen your spine. And once you've got your balance, inhale, lift up those arms. And you can open the branches of the tree. For three, two, one. Beautiful, bring the hands back to prayer and drop the leg down. Take a couple of deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Leaning over onto your right leg, picking up the left, placing the left heel to the inside of the right thigh. Palms together, oopsie. Belly button pulled in, inhale, reach up the arms, lengthen the spine, and then open up the branches of your tree, holding it for three, two, one, bringing the hands back to prayer, and hands back to your heart, and gently release. And let's come and sit on the mat, sitting cross-legged. We're gonna take the heel away from our shin and just walk our fingers forward. Breathing in, breathing out. Well done, everybody. What an accomplishment, 21 days. And you should be feeling a difference in your body, in your discipline, in your posture. Walk your hands back, change sides. Walking your hands forward. Breathing in, breathing out. And then gently coming back. Sitting nice and tall, close your eyes. And just rest your hands on your knees. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Back to centre, turn your head to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. And back to centre and just stay there. Keep your eyes closed and just breathe. I'm just going to share something with you while you're sitting there. Something to think about. Create a new way of life. We are living in a very exciting and powerful time. On the deepest level of consciousness, a radical spiritual transformation is taking place. On a worldwide level, we are being challenged to let go of our present way of life and create an entirely new one. We are, in fact, in the process of releasing our old world and building a new world in its place. The change begins with each individual, but as more and more individuals are becoming transformed, the mass consciousness is increasingly affected and the results will be manifested into a new world around us. Each day I'm creating my new life. So as you lie there, Think of three things you are grateful for. Inhale each one of those things into your body. Exhale gratitude out into the universe. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. And take a moment to acknowledge your accomplishment, your commitment to your self-care. Sometimes you've had to squeeze these classes in when you didn't even feel like it, but you still showed up for yourself on the mat. So congratulate yourself for that. And whenever you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. So thank you so much. I feel so blessed that you're sharing this time with me. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you next time.